Hey everyone, Greg here, and today I'm going to share how you can identify spam attacks on your website. So let's get started. So the first thing is you should always be reviewing your analytics. And one thing I noticed in 2017 was a consistent drop in organic traffic. And the reason why that's important is that because in 2015 and 2016, I was having um, growth year over year. And then 2017 rolled around and it was just a consistent drive down in terms of um, more organic traffic for my website. So naturally, I was trying to figure out what was happening. I was you know, doing audits of my site, comparative research, couldn't figure out it until I went into my stats section on my website. So I'm going to open this up now for you guys to see. I have GoDaddy as my host provider, but you can find uh, this whoever your host is. You're going to look for something to call a call it the AW stats section. And this section here is going to kind of give you a, who's hitting your website. So look, it's the bots, it's the Googlebot, Bing, Yahoo, etc. And my site did not have SSL in 2017, or at least for half the year it didn't, and that's really when it got hit. So I'm going to go to that right now. I'm going to click on View, and I'm going to change this to May of 2017. I'm going to hit OK. Okay, here are the four things that you need to look at in terms of if your site is under attack. So first thing, I'm going to scroll down here. Russian Federation, so I'm going to zoom this in. Uh, second most terms of uh, hits onto my site. Uh, this is a clear red flag because TM Blast is just a website that operates exclusively in Boston, Massachusetts, so Russian Federation, that's a bit of a concern. Second is that Ukraine, uh, another big hit on my site. Uh, pretty obvious sign that there's a spam attack going on. Bot networks have begun a lot more sophisticated because even when I was reviewing my own site, just even last week, they're disguising their location. But if you notice, it says Russian Federation. Uh, it's pretty obvious. The next thing, though, is that if you can't figure out where the geolocation is, take a look at the IP addresses. So you can use a tool. You can Google uh, IP address lookup. Uh, any of these sites, they all do the same job. Copy and paste every IP address into there and see where it's originating from. Now, again, some might say Russia or China or India, but... If they get very sophisticated, um, they might say something like Great Britain or Canada. It's a little bit harder to understand really what's happening. So I'm going to show you what else you can look at. So if you see something that says unknown robot, uh, that's telling you that these IP addresses, even if they say they're from Canada or even the United States, uh, clearly they're being masked and they're with unknown robots, which is, means that GoDaddy could not understand if this was a Google bot or a Bing bot. Um, or Yahoo come into my website, it's basically some type of an attack happening and trying to figure out how to get in. And the way you can confirm that is if you go down to the bottom right here, I noticed my admin page was one of my most hit pages on my site. And from a bot network uh, attack, that's really how they try to infiltrate a website. My site is WordPress, so naturally that's how I log into my site. It's the WP admin section. So it's very obvious that users don't navigate there. It's going to be a bot trying to get in. So if you have any outdated plugins on your website, if you don't have security on your website, like I did not have security, I did not even have SSL, um, very easy for them to get in. So if you if you have a WordPress site and you don't have SSL and you don't have security, uh, I would highly encourage you to watch this video and do exactly what I'm going to do next. So seeing WP Admin as the main hit, I'm going to go into my uh, my firewall section on my website, which is uh, which is this section here, and you want to go to your blacklist URL paths. And right here, I put in the WP admin admin Ajax, that PHP page uh, or section, really. This is now telling to block this path, so any, any bots that are trying to get into the section, block them from trying to enter it. So this is really your best way to kind of combat this. So it's a couple things. First is identifying the problem. Second is getting in contact with your uh, hosting provider, seeing if they see anything else from their end, because they might have other tools they can diagnose your site. Um, for example, my site got hit with a lot of Viagra content, uh, Cialis. Uh, basically, these bots were creating fake pages on my site. They were promoting these malicious websites. Google saw it, Bing saw it, and they didn't really trust my website anymore for good reasons. They lowered it in their rankings. Thus, I was driving less traffic every month, less conversions. Uh, it totally just completely sucked, to be honest. But uh, now that my site's back to where it is, which I'll show you guys right now. So if I go to 2018, 
you can see now that the yellow line now is comparable to where I was back in 2016. So it'll take me some time to get back to where I need to, but that's just how powerful a bot network attack is. You know, it's taken me a long time to get back from this. So it really took about six months of finding out the problem and then addressing the issues and then working backwards and removing all of the hack content on my site, blocking any of the plugins that were causing the vulnerabilities, getting the security, moving over to HTTPS. There's a lot of things that happened in the end of 2017 that showed a steady decline in traffic, but ultimately allowed me to be successful now in 2018. So the big thing is to always audit your site. Even if you have security, make sure that you're reviewing your AW stats section to make sure that things are going the right way. If you see anything fishy, get in contact with your hosting provider and just make sure you're always doing these type of checks or else you'll have what I'd had in 2017 of just a consistent loss and loss in revenue. And um, it's definitely something that can be prevented. So thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions and as always, have a good rest of your day.